Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my December update to the Panners Pan Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Elizabeth or at Cookie Pans over on Instagram, and she is linked down below. Basically, we choose 10 panners to work on at a time. We choose a product that reminds us of those panners. It's a way to pay homage to some of the people that we love to watch here on YouTube or people that we go and follow over on Instagram. And it is a way to introduce all of you guys who watch my videos to maybe some panners that you have never heard of before that I think you should go give a follow to. I've been working on this project for over a year now and I have gone through lots of panners and rolled them out of the project already. So I will link my playlist down below so you can go back and see every panner that I've put in here so far because um, I have worked on over 40 panners so far in this project. So I do have one panner rolling out um, today so I will be introducing a new panner at the end of the video so let's start out with a person who has been in here the longest and that is Linda from Linda Loves Life for her I chose to work on a black eyeshadow from my ABH Sultry palette because at one point Linda was panning three different black eyeshadows and it seems like she is always working on one and she never gives up no matter how long it takes her so I decided to roll in the shade noir from this palette as of the last update, I had used the shade Noir 335 times. I have used it 18 more times and it is gone. Do you guys see that shiny pan? I am so excited. I have finally finished this black eyeshadow. So I have used this 353 times for Linda. Linda's been in here for 14 months, so it's taking me a long time. However, I did put this originally in the project for Paula, and I um, it was for the prompt uh, or the project that she was doing, uh, Never Have I Ever, and I put in this black eyeshadow because never have I ever hit pan in a black shadow. So I had this in here for Paula to begin with. Then once I hit pan, I did roll it over to Linda to pan it to completion. So. With all of the uses, even though I've used it for 353 for Linda, I've gotten 378 uses out of this black eyeshadow. So I am so happy to have finally met this goal. I think it's interesting in this palette, I finished the lightest shade and the darkest shade, and then I have three other pans in here. So this palette is definitely well loved and well used. So Linda will be rolling out of the project. The next person that I've put in here is Monica. And for Monica, um, I rolled in a product that has pink in it because that's kind of how she and I started chit-chatting and getting to know each other. So for the pink product, I chose this Jeffree Star Translucent Setting Powder. As of the last update, I had used it 183 times. I've used it 24 more and it is, of course, still going. So I've used this for 207 times for Monica. I have been frankening this with a darker setting powder in my Beauty A to Z. Hopefully you guys have seen that finale. You know that I didn't finish this, that powder. I'm gonna set that powder aside and I'm just gonna work on this for Monica. So this is where I am. Uh, it was a lot fuller obviously when I first started this project, but I'm just gonna use this powder as it is. I'm not gonna franken it anymore. So we'll see how long it takes me to completely finish this powder. The next person I had in here is Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock. Um, for her, I was working on a single eyeshadow from ColourPop because she always has the most beautiful eyeshadow singles. I'm realizing I didn't take them out of my magnetic palette. So um, I was working on the shade Glass Bowl. As of the last update, I had used Glass Bowl 11 times. I have used it three more times. And as you guys can see, I am making some pretty decent progress in here. This is just a beautiful shade that just... Uh, works with greens it works with browns i mean i love this shade so i have used this a total of 14 times and i'm still working on it because i have not hit pan yet the next panner that i have been working on is taro from cruelty free panner for her i had rolled in an eyeshadow from my ColourPop meant to be palette i've been working on the shade freshman as of the last update i'd used freshman 18 times i have used it three more times and this is what it is looking like. So as you can see, I am getting closer and closer to pan. I might be able to have pan in this one for the next update. I am not sure. Um, but yeah, 21 uses so far in this project. And that is the shade Freshman right there. So she will still stay in this project. Next, 
I'm working on an eyeshadow from Deb. Deb was really sweet and sent me a bunch of Makeup Geek singles, so I did put one of those in for her. I decided to work on the shade Daydreamer, and as of the last update, I had used it 11 times. I've used it twice more, and hopefully you guys can see, uh, I've got starting to get a dip in here. I am nowhere near pan, but um, I, this is such a beautiful shade. Every time I see this, I think of Deb and how kind she is, and she just shares she gives things away freely and she's just so kind and sweet. So this is the shade that I am working on for Deb. Next is Misty. Uh, for Misty, I decided to roll in my Natasha Denona palette. This is the Metropolis palette. One, because it's the most expensive palette I have, which she is, does the That's Expensive Project Pan. And she also does No Pan Left Behind. So I'm doing 10 eyeshadow looks out of here and my goal in those 10 um eyeshadow looks is to use every single eyeshadow in here. So I am wearing three of these colors on my eyes today. I am, I'll put the names up on the screen, but I do have these two dark shades right here blended through my crease, and this is the eyeshadow I have all on my lid. The turquoise shimmer I do have out here, and then I did blend a silver in here. And even though these two blue shadows, or they look practically black, they are not as dark as they appear in the pan. And then this is the shimmer that I have on my eyelid. Let me even out that swatch, there you go. So just some beautiful blue shades. The only thing is that they stain. My fingers are gonna be blue all day today now. But um, I have completed four looks so far in this one for Misty, so I have six more looks to go. Um, yeah, it's going to take me a little bit simply because I'm trying to still hit all my goals and my pan that palette and all the other eyeshadows that I'm doing. So, and as you guys can tell, this has turned into a very eyeshadow heavy project pan, which is fine. Next, I rolled in Lena and for Lena, I rolled in this MAC Spellbinder uh, shadow in the shade Wishful Thinking. Uh, they're just these beautiful magnetic uh, eyeshadows and this is in the shade... I said wishful thinking, I should say it is purple, is what I was trying to say. So this is a swatch of it right here. It is a beautiful color. I love the shimmers that, is, that are in here. Um, I didn't tell you. <laughs> As of the last update, I had used it six times. I have used it two more times. At least I don't think I've told you guys that. So I am still working on this. Um, it is beautiful. Um, Lena did warn me that it is very easy to hit pan in these and She's correct, it is easy. I did hit pan already and my goal was to hit pan, but if you take these and you just shake them a little bit, because of the magnets, it goes right back in and covers up the center. So I am gonna change this from a hit pan goal to a usage goal. I wanna try to use this 20 times, so that leaves me 12 more uses to go on this one. I wanna at least be able to have pan and then you know not be able to fill it back in, so hopefully I can get that in 20 uses, we'll see. Um, I do on some of these people have flexible goals just so that I can change it. I don't want somebody to be in this project for like one month and roll out. I do want to have them in for a couple months so that I can talk about them and uh, keep reminding you guys to go check out their channels and go give them a follow. And I do have everybody linked in the description box. I have their Instagram. I have their YouTube, both if they have both. So that way you guys can follow them. The next person I put in here is Emily, and for her I was doing the 2420, which is her version of Pan Those Eyeshadows. She chooses two palettes, she chooses two shades for each of those from each of those palettes, which is the four shades, and then she uses each of them 20 times. So I have been working on two shades for my ABH Sultry palette. The first one I was working on is Rose Quartz. As of the last update, I had used it eight times. I have used rose quartz one more time. So I've met nine uses. I still have 11 more to go there. And on the shade Birch, I had used it seven times as of the last update. And I have used this one one more time as well. So this is at eight uses. So I have 12 more uses to go on this. The second palette that I had pulled shades from is my Morphe and James Charles palette. I had already hit my 20 use goal on this shade right here called Flashback, so I rolled that one out of the project last time. The other shade I was working on here is Pinkity Drinkity. As of the last update, I had used it 13 times. I have used it the additional seven, so I've hit my 20 use goal, and this one will be rolling out of the project. So this James Charles palette is no longer in this project. However, Emily is staying in because I do need to hit my 20 use marks on these two other eyeshadows. Next, 
um, the person I rolled in two months ago, yes, was Becca. Her channel is Becca Hope, and for her I rolled in an eyeshadow for my ABH Norvina palette. If you guys haven't seen her channel, you need to go watch her pan that palette. She was patenting the Bad Habit Luna, which is a dupe for this palette. She killed it. <laughs> so go check out her channel. She's an amazing panner. Um, as of the last update, I had used the shade Soul in here two times. I have used it twice more, and this is it right here. So nowhere near pan. I'm realizing I didn't swatch those shades for uh, Emily. I will do that in just a second. This is the shade Soul. So I do wear these purples together, one, two, three. I do like to wear these two together in a look. I, I, um, I'm I having fun combining all of these um, eyeshadows into different looks. So let me quickly uh, swatch Rose Quartz. And I'm realizing I do need to start wrapping it around my arm so that you guys can even see these. Okay, so this is Rose Quartz and this is Birch. And then I need to swatch the shade Pinkity Drinkity. I'm not even sure that this will show up. I'll put it on the side of my hand here. It's just this pale pink right here. So it's very a very, very light shade, so I'm not surprised it's not showing up that well. And then last month I rolled in Jaylon. Um, I'm sure you guys know who she is. She does every single project pan there is out there. <laughs> She's doing so many of them. I have no idea how she keeps up with all of them. But I rolled in a prompt from her Child of the 80s project pan. I got Girls Just Want to Have Fun, a fun or colorful item, and I decided to roll in an eyeshadow for her because it is bright and colorful. Um, this is the Sugar Pill Single in the shade Midori. It was brand new when I rolled it in. And over this past month, I've been able to use it three times. Hopefully you guys can see I'm getting a little bit of use right there in the middle. It is a really pretty green shade. Let's see, we'll swatch it down here. So this is a swatch right here. So I do combine one, two, three in a look, and then I will put my purples in a look too. So I'm having a lot of fun mixing and matching these eyeshadows. Every time I pull these eyeshadows out, I do think of every one of the panners that they represent uh, to me in this project. So now that I have hit my goal, on completing this eyeshadow for Linda, it is time for me to roll a new panner in. Typically when I do this, I put YouTubers in and I need to remember to go over to Instagram and put more Instagrammers into this project. So the person that I'm gonna be rolling in today is from Instagram, they don't have a YouTube channel and that person is Jennifer Nash. If you follow her on Instagram, it's Jennifer's Makeup Addiction. She is an amazing project panner. She does lots of projects on Instagram. She does a Pan That palette. She has done um, Bingo, Pan of Dinosaurs. She's done Panacea. She's doing lots of projects on there, but the one that has stuck out the most with me is that she has panned an entire face palette. And the face palette that she has panned is this Cover FX face palette. Um, she's panned it to completion, and it's been fun watching this palette as she's worked on it over this past year. So for Jennifer, one of the items that I want, or the item that I want to roll in is this contour right here. This is the shade Silhouette from this uh, face palette, and my goal for this is to try to hit pan in it. So um, I do want to make this um, I should say this is a swatch of that right there. I want to make this more of a fluid goal because I want to try to hit pan in here, but I have no idea how deep the pans are or how many uses it's going to take me to hit pan. I have had this project in this palette in Project 10 Uses. I've also put it in um, Nightmare on Panning Street um, for six uses for each of these pans. So I do have usage on this um, contour shade. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to hit pan. If I hit pan really quickly on here, then I may change the usage goal to finishing the whole thing completely. Um, but if it takes me, you know, three, four, five months to hit pan, then I'm gonna call that good. But I just don't wanna put somebody in here and then roll them out the next month. I like to have panners in here for more than one month so that if you guys miss one of my updates, you will still hear me talk about these panners in more than uh, one update so that you can go give them a follow. So like I said before, I have everybody listed down below. Jennifer is the 44th person I have put into this project, so there are over 30 people that I have already hit goal on a product for them, and I have rolled them out of this project pan. 
I do not have room in my description box to leave the links to all 44 people that I have put in this project simply because I do like to put a lot of information in my description boxes. So uh, be sure to check out my playlist down below. Be sure to go over on Instagram and I guess here on YouTube as well and look for the Panners Pan. There are lots of other people who are doing this and you will find lots of great uh, uh, panners out there in the community, some that you've never heard of before um, that may become some of your favorite panners. So that's why I love this, uh, this project. It does introduce me to so many different panners when I watch other people doing this. So if you haven't already, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel before you go. While you're down there, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.